and I knew as soon as I did it that like it didn't feel right, so I stopped doing it. I just picked up the camera. Hello, new vlog. <laughs> I wanted to show this because I just made this. Um, it's from Instagram. I can link the video. But it's like hibachi noodles. I just made it for Cole for lunch. We're gonna see how he likes it. I mean, it smells and looks really good. So if he isn't into it, I know I will be. But um, it was so easy. It's literally just a packet of ramen noodles without the seasoning. And then some butter, garlic, soy sauce, and a tiny bit of brown sugar. And then an egg. It smells insane. I'm about to take my lunch outside. It is so nice out. I've shared this salad on Instagram like a thousand times. I don't know if I have shown it on YouTube or not, but this is a spinach and arugula mix. And then I do some grilled chicken, strawberries, uh, blueberry vanilla goat cheese from Aldi is insanely good. And then the skinny girl, like no calorie uh, poppy seed dressing. This is so delicious. It's like under 200 calories for a gigantic bowl. So, so good. All right, all done with lunch both kids are napping oh sorry that's my phone and i'm about to hop on the walking pad i'm kind of in like workout ish attire because if you follow me on instagram you would have seen that i kind of like threw out my back like my lat my left lat back here i was doing you know one of my sitting workouts which i do every single day and it was like this ab like slider move and i totally like kind of like arched my back like and would it be hyper extended i basically did like arch my back way too much and then tried to like pull back in and i knew as soon as i did it that like it didn't feel right so i stopped doing it immediately it was just a very awkward move and i didn't know i had like pulled something in the moment i just knew it, it hurt and it didn't feel good <laughs> And then literally like later that day my like back started hurting so bad to the point where I was like couldn't move couldn't like lift up the baby like I couldn't do anything without like wincing like an excruciating pain it was so so uncomfortable so painful I've never like had a backache or pulled out my back or anything like that literally ever and I've done it once to my neck I like pulled my neck like slash um like trap sort of one time and it was the same thing I was literally crying in pain I couldn't move I remember I had to like sleep like sitting up like at a 90 degree angle and I had to do that again this time it was so uncomfortable and I have a 40 pound toddler and like a 18 pound baby and I have to just move and lift and all those kinds of things. So it was like very hard to like figure out how to like live life. I was in so much pain. Nothing was really helping. And that lasted for like, that happened on Saturday and today's Tuesday. So it lasted for like three days. Today's the first day where like I feel much better. I did um like the, what is that cream called? This Biofreeze which I, I got this when I hurt my neck and that helped a lot. And then just like ibuprofen, icing it, taking like hot showers. It's honestly feeling so much better, but I, I still know I like should not work out today. Didn't work out yesterday, but I have been just like putting in like a bunch of extra miles on my walking pad just to stay moving and keeping up like my normal caloric burn and all of that kind of stuff. So I walk this morning, like I, I always like do like a mile to a mile and a half in the morning and then like a mile to a mile and a half at night. And then, then I do a workout in between, but I'm gonna hop on here for probably like a mile and a half, two miles just to get a little extra movement in while the kiddos are sleeping. Yeah, it's feeling so much better today. I was able to like drive today. Carrying Emily is not like killing me. I'm not like crying. I, I still like slept like sitting up right the last two nights. Last night I like laid down a little bit more, but Emily's still waking up at night. So I still have to like get out of bed to get her out of the bassinet and feed her. So I'm trying to like be smart and not like hurt myself in the middle of the night. But as much as I want to get back to working out, I also don't want to make this worse or exacerbate it or like set back the progress that I've made. So anyway, that um, that's a little update with what's happened to me. I've never had like a back injury or anything because I'm really like careful with my form and like I know how to do stuff. So it's been very weird. Um, but I just got some packages and I also mentioned this on Instagram, but I figured I would share with y'all too. I literally purchased these e.l.f. liquid blushes in 
almost every single color. I literally think I got all but like maybe two. I am loving these so much. It's what I have on my face right now. Y'all just were <laughs> seeing me in that clip. I think I'm wearing the berry one today. I wore this yesterday and I'm obsessed with this coral one. I can link these below. I just ordered them from Target, but of course they're on Ulta and Elf. They're so good. I'm really, really in love. Don't judge the organization of this drawer. I really love the Rare Beauty blushes. I have quite a few of those, but honestly, these are so similar in terms of the color, the pigmentation, how they wear, how they look, and they're obviously like a fraction of the cost. So I would definitely, definitely, definitely recommend these like a thousand percent. Honestly, anything in this camo line, I love. I have the concealer, I have the foundation. These are so good. Honestly, I would consider them kind of like a dupe for the Rare Beauty ones if you don't want to splurge on those. Like just literally get these. I'm also really loving, um, I shared this on Instagram, this Too Faced uh, Born This Way Healthy Glow. I got the, I think I showed it on the last vlog the foundation but I really like this like skin tint situation it's really glowy really pretty these shades are a little dark for me right now but they'll be good for like the spring and summer and I've been enjoying the Tatcha dewy skin cream underneath of everything so anyway so random 10 out of 10 like 11 out of 10 recommend these are super pigmented a lot of color payoff and I think they're like seven dollars so I'm gonna go hop on the walking pad but I just um filmed and edited and posted a reel of a little Abercrombie um unboxing slash try on so I wanted to show you all these and I actually have a couple other things just you know how we do some like new goodies that I'm super excited about and I love just like sharing my new fashion finds because I love <laughs> that's what I love I love watching like influencers and stuff that share their like latest clothing pieces that they're like obsessed with. I am doing all of that. Like I'm, I'm finding so much good stuff. So I want to sit down and show you all this stuff as well here in a little bit. Half mile into my walk. <gasps> and someone's awake. All the napping. All the napping. All she wants to do the second she wakes up is just like touch someone. Like she just reaches for my hands. Mm hmm. That's right. That's right. Should we put your bow on? You're trying to get it. You want this? I'm going ahead, silly girl. Oh, whoopsie. Her and Cole and I went to Chick-fil-A for breakfast today since I couldn't do my workout. And homegirl blew out. All in her pajamas, all down the leg of it, all in the car seat. Yes, you are a stinky, stinky baby girl. You stinky. You stinky. Look how cute these pants are. They have... um ruffles on the butt we love a good ruffle butt moment don't we you don't we love a ruffle butt yup yup we do uh, <laughs> um i don't have anywhere to i really have nowhere to put y'all down on this table um but in other exciting news <laughs> really she's so chatty lately <laughs> Where'd the camera go? And other really exciting news, I booked our like fourth summer vacation. We are like on a roll because obviously we haven't traveled recently with her being so tiny and brand new and you know, C-section and adjusting and it being the holidays and winter and all of that. So now that she is obviously older and bigger and her immune system is getting stronger and all those things, we are like ready to go and do all the things well we're doing like three family vacations like all of us you know just the four of us and then we're doing one with ken's like whole family if y'all uh, would have watched the vlogs from last year we do like kind of a big vacation like with his parents and his sister and all the cousins so her six kids and our two kids and his parents and everybody so that's like a big a big family vacation for everybody really and then um, my aunt and uncle and cousins, the triplets, they're coming down. We like alternate years. So they're coming down here for a week to meet Emily and just visit. So that's kind of like, even though we're not going anywhere, that's like a fifth kind of week, sort of like off slash vacationing. But <coughs> bless you. <coughs> bless you. <laughs> that's just like more of a staycation. And then I think my girlfriend and her daughter might come visit as well which would be like our sixth like event type of thing so yeah i don't know like what else is gonna pop up we might do some day trips or i don't know we just want to do all the things and literally on my walking pad since i wasn't working out i was just walking a bunch yesterday i just hopped on airbnb 
booked an Airbnb, started doing research, and literally by the time I went to bed last night, I had research, like what to do, where to eat, had the whole itinerary planned out, like day by day, breakfast, lunch, dinner, activities. So I'm just so excited. I feel like obviously everyone loves traveling in the summer, but I just love, especially since being kind of like cooped up at home <laughs> in the fall and winter and having a new baby and all that stuff, like now that we can kind of go and do, we are going to go and do, and I love having things to just like look forward to. I'm so excited. So I'm not gonna say like where we're going or what we're doing, because I feel like it's more fun to just see as we go so y'all will see on instagram or of course you will see the travel vlogs um because i always vlog all of our vacations all of our trips it's kind of like home movie like vibes to me so i always document those i don't obviously vlog like every day too too much nowadays just because my life is hectic but i always vlog our trips so definitely make sure you are subscribed stay tuned for all of the travel vlogs that will be coming yes we are so excited Who is that baby? Who is that little girl? Is that Miss Amy June? A oh, wig, wig, wig. Is that? Oh, look, who is that? Oh, who is it? Is that a cute baby? Is that a cute baby? Look at those feet. You can't see them. They're going crazy. Uh, hi. Oh, you're leaking. Oh, you're leaking. Hi. You want to do sit up, ready? Good job. Look at you, strong girl. Good job with the net control. Silly, okay, you wanna play piano? You do? All right, here we go. Ribbit, ribbit. You do? Perfect. All right, baby girl. Hi, oh, play it, play it, play it. Where's your key? Oh, you got your sloth. Whoa, nice job. We doing some tummy time? You rather just look at me, Sammy? Come on, get it. Good job, me girl. Look at you. Wow, who is that baby? Is that pretty girl? Wow. All right, we'll see how long she has. The patience for this, you can't really see me. But you can see her, and that's way cuter. That is way cuter. Oh my gosh, I just did two miles on the walking pad, and I am sweating. I don't know, I do it on like level four. I don't know if that's four miles an hour or just the level, but anyway. Okay, well, she's doing a little tummy time. We're gonna go outside here in a minute because it is like 70 degrees and absolutely perfect, especially in the shade. So we're gonna do that, but I figured I would do this quick little haul really quick. Um, I'll show you, oh gosh. Usually some stuff comes up with a verb like that. <laughs> I'll eat that hand. Oh yum. So sorry if this is kind of weird angle. I wanted her to be in it. This top is uh, Royal Change, which is Sydney Cummings brand. She's like who I work out with on YouTube every single day. I literally have for like five, six years at this point. She lives here in Charlotte, which is really cool. And I'm part of the City Squad and all the things. So anyway, I pretty much have purchased whatever new merch they come out with. Actually, these joggers are Royal Change as well, but these are from like a year or two ago, so they don't have these anymore. But they just came out with these cute little like, they're kind of cropped-ish, not super cropped. I loved this purple. So anyway, this is technically newish, but I am, some of this stuff is not super like relevant to this time of year. I feel like a lot of people are not shopping for like warm stuff anymore but honestly here a it's still a little chilly like today's like the first day it's been even like near the 70s in a while and we live in the south so it's honestly kind of weird it usually gets warm by now but i feel like so many brands are doing such like great sales on their like fall and winter stuff for obvious reasons because it's the end of the season and you can get such crazy deals and then maybe you can wear them like once or twice still and then like whatever just pack them away and then wear them next year. Like I get so excited honestly to take advantage of end of year sales because like I said, I wear it like once or twice maybe and then I pack it away and I kind of forget about it. And then when I like pull out all my sweaters next fall, I'm like, oh my gosh, I totally forgot that I had this and I probably have only worn it, you know, once or twice. So it feels like brand new and it almost feels like I'm shopping with no money <laughs> next season because it feels like I'm getting all new stuff. So anyway, this is like a cardigan slash sweater situation. This was from American Eagle and I love this. Like I love this and I, I've talked about this on my channel like a million times lately. So sorry if you watch everything and I'm repeating myself, but I'm truly like at the point with um, making purchases <laughs> She's chilling pretty hard that I'm just trying to buy things that are like genuine like I genuinely love like that like kind of um, what's her name? 
She's on Netflix, like things that genuinely spark joy. Like when I see it in my closet or when I put it on, like I genuinely am so excited to own it, to wear it, to style it. And I feel like I'm officially like at that point for the most part where almost everything in my closet I'm like obsessed with. Like I see it and I'm like, I love this. I love that I own this. I can't wait to style this. I love wearing it. It's comfortable. It's cute. It fits me well. It's flattering, like all of that stuff. I'm at the point where most of my clothes, I would say like 75% of my clothes are that. I'm like in love with my clothes and I feel like that's important I don't want to just buy things just to have them or just because they're on sale or just because they're trendy I want to have things that I really truly love and also that are unique I just I also don't want to have a ton of like repetition in my wardrobe and in my closet I want to have like unique interesting not everything needs to be unique and interesting of course like basics are important too but I want generally when I make purchases I want them to just be something unique and different and interesting something that I don't have anything like or just kind of like adds a, like a little something different to my wardrobe rather than just more of the same so anyway this is kind of that and i love it so much and this was literally 19 dollars when i bought it so of course i will link everything down below and hopefully it's still available and still on sale and all of that but how freaking cute is this this is probably not everyone's cup of tea but i love this like super exaggerated big like flappy collar thing that i feel like kind of got trendy this year and i love these colors i feel like it's such an interesting and unique like color combination so unique and different a really really pretty really like nice material this honestly feels so expensive expensive and high quality and I think full price this is like 60 yeah 65 dollars so like it's not you know inexpensive per se but like I said it was on like 75 percent off but look at these colors I just think it's such an interesting combination of colors this knit is obviously like it's a little bit chunky not super chunky but it's a little chunky and it's like a nice quality knit are you getting tired of this position you just let me know I'm trying to have her stay in tummy time for like until she like literally refuses to be in tummy time because she really needs to practice. Oh, spit up. That's why we lay on a burp cloth. Oh, that's a lot, okay. So anyway, this is so cute. It looks cute like zippered up just with something high-waisted because it is a little crop, but you can also unzip it. It also zips from the bottom if you wanna do that weird, I don't really get that, but if you wanna do that weird like unzip from the top and bottom thing. Um, but you could also just wear it totally unzippered just as a cardigan with like a really, you know, simple plain like tank or t-shirt underneath and just like layer it. So I personally really like sweaters that can be worn zipped and open or buttoned and unbuttoned. Obsessed with everything about that. And then this top is also from American Eagle. Hi, big girl. I don't know, it's a little bit, not like risque or anything. It's kind of like a bralette. It's actually like a little bit sheer in the back. They had this in a couple different colors, but I thought it was really cute. And I feel like with some black denim, like black high-waisted jeans or black high-waisted shorts, whatever, I feel like this would be so cute. It kind of like clasps in the middle. It kind of has like that cute floral design. I'm gonna move the camera over here, especially now that she's flipped over just so I can see a little bit better. But I just thought the like kind of floral design and the cutouts and almost like a houndstooth kind of print, I don't know. I I thought this was again like so unique and different with like a black i have like a black leather skirt this would look so cute with for like a concert or you know a little date night or anything with like some black booties or some black like strappy sandals i feel like you could style this like really casually too like with um like some denim shorts and like a cardigan or like a denim shirt or denim jacket over it i feel like this could be styled a lot of ways or with like a long denim skirt i ordered a couple actually i'm going to, need to do like a little target haul try on maybe i'll do a reel for that too i'm actually like really enjoying doing kind of like short form content unboxings and try on hauls which i'm gonna show you all here in a second that i filmed earlier today like i said but i ordered some like long denim skirts which i feel like were trendy like when i was in school like my teachers wore long denim skirts and now it's like a trend again but now that i'm a mom i feel like i can appreciate that kind of look and i feel like they're gonna be again so fun to style with like crop t-shirts but also with like cuter tops with sweaters with cardigans i don't know so anyway and this was like ten dollars so cute i feel like that's gonna be so fun to style and then um <laughs> i told y'all in like the last couple of videos i have not shut up about the nike phoenix line i cannot get enough of their stuff everything is just so cute and so flattering so i showed y'all a while back i got a hoodie and then i think in the last video i showed y'all i got a crew neck and a pair of sweatpants i literally can't stop won't stop and i saw on dicks they literally only had one like one single item of each of these left in stock at least in the size that i got so there might be more if you guys check the link but i got a pair of the phoenix loose fit high rise shorts for the summer in this white color and i think these are so cute super simple but they have just like that really nice 
<laughs> really a like, nice thick waistband. It's just like that really nice phoenix material that is just like super sturdy and soft and cozy and just like well structured. I'm obsessed. I got these in a medium. They're like loose fitting but really high rise, almost like kind of boyfriend style. They're gonna be so cute just to wear with like a crop sweatshirts, crop t shirt, hanging out kind of outfit. Easy peasy for the summer. And then I also got the oversized fit high rise sweatpants. And these I got in a size small. My other pair that I own. <laughs> really? That's what you said? Is, uh, I'm starting to wake up, so we're all gonna go outside, and I'm so excited. Um, I think we're gonna go to like a little, I think we're gonna go to a park or something. But I got these in a small because my other ones are in a medium, and I, I like how those fit, but I knew I could do a small too. And so I got these in a small just to see. And this color, I cannot get enough of. They're the same as the ones I showed y'all last time, where they're just kind of like a baggy, loose fit. They're not joggers or anything, like they're not tapered, but they do <laughs> have elastic at the ankle. Of course, they have pockets. I just, I cannot get enough of this line this waistband how they fit how high rise they are how like loose and baggy and especially how long they are for me i'm like five nine so i need things to be long and these are long enough for me even in the size small literally i will not be stopped i will forever keep stocking up on that line from nike and then actually another pair of sweatpants that i got because like I said, I have such a hard time finding sweatpants that are long enough for me. And these from American Eagle, I have these in a black pair. And those I got in a medium long. And American Eagle, what I love about them is they sell a lot of their leggings, flare pants, sweatpants in short, regular, and long lengths. But these I have in a black long and i really really love them they didn't have these in a long so these are just a regular medium but i just wanted to try how they would fit in terms of the length in the regular length since they didn't have a long and they are fine i do wish they were like a little bit longer for sure because i, I just generally like my pants to be almost too long like almost puddle you know style where they're just too long because being tall i feel like either things are too short but they're never too long like you can you can always make them work but too short just doesn't work too short looks silly exactly these i absolutely love these are kind of along those lines with just like a really really nice high-waisted vibe they're nice and like baggy but not like overly baggy they're not tapered like joggers i like joggers but i'm kind of over them I, I have enough of them actually i'm wearing a pair like i said this royal change pair and these are like true joggers like almost like soccer pants or like see how tight they are at the bottom they're not just like tapered they're like almost like tight like leggings and then they get a little looser so i have those love those especially for like athletic purposes like walking but for lounging i just want like baggy wide leg sweatpants so these are those like i said they're elasticized at the bottom but a really nice like thick waistband how high waisted they are i love the pocket these are just like a really basic pair of sweatpants but you know how like sometimes you just need a good pair of sweatpants just like a good pair that's the right amount of coziness and like baggy enough and high waisted enough but not too tight but tight enough like I'm now like locked in. I have like the sweatpants. And then in terms of this Abercrombie stuff, I uploaded a short and a reel of me unboxing and trying this stuff on. So I'm gonna just go ahead and um, insert that here. Okay, this is like literally some of my favorite things I've purchased in a long time. This Abercrombie stuff, the material of this stuff is insane. I've never had it before. And this has freaking pockets, which I didn't know about. <laughs> so I was so excited. I have this sports bra in another color previously. I like that it looks like a top, but also works as a sports bra. These shorts are like kind of basic, but they're really nice with the lining underneath of them and a simple black. And when I tell y'all every single time I opened one of these that my like jaw dropped because this material, all these sweatshirts are made of like the same material. It's insane. I love how cropped they are, the fit, the shape. Y'all know I live in stuff like this. I love them so much. This is very similar, but this one's only a crew neck. Love the color. Love how like flowy it is. It's like not overly cropped, but literally like my ideal fit. Love the slits, love the design. This sports bra is so unique and different. I feel like it's like kind of nicer looking, but like it has padding, it works as a sports bra. I'm obsessed with all of this stuff, I'm telling you. Definitely don't sleep on the Abercrombie activewear. And of course, like I said, everything will be linked if you like watch my shorts that I upload here to YouTube, then you would have already seen these. But Abercrombie did their like LTK sale. I guess like to know it did their sale with Abercrombie that they do every so often. So all their stuff had like an extra discount through like to know it. Did you just throw that toy? Did you just throw that over there? Do you wanna come sit on my lap? Do you wanna come sit with me? You can look at the camera. Do you see the camera? Is that a baby? Mm -hmm. You can help mama. I'm gonna be sad when she doesn't like fit in my lap this way because she fits like so perfectly so we just chill so anyway i'll insert the reel and obviously like i said i'll do the links and everything so y'all can see the stuff in you know try it on me and stuff like that this sports bra is so good literally has padding this is all the ypb brand by the way which is abercrombie and fitch's like athletic 
slash activewear brand such good stuff like such good stuff and the prices are so good like i think all this stuff is still on sale yeah i love the black with the brown piping the little sweetheart neckline and it does have like padding so it's like a legit sports bra but i feel like you could literally also wear this like out obsessed I'm, I'm kidding you not this pile of abercrombie stuff honestly all the stuff i'm showing you guys right now but like specifically this little abercrombie portion some of my favorite purchases that i've made in a while like so good and then this is another sports bra that i actually have another color of that i purchased previously and i love this because it honestly looks kind of like a tank top like a little henley tank top it buttons all the way down so it's very nursing friendly which is honestly why i got another one because it's so convenient if i want to wear it like all day long i can just unbutton it to feed her so it kind of just looks like a henley tank top but again it's the same as with this it's definitely like a workout like spandex legging type of material so it's very sweat wicking very breathable very like stretchy like a legging and like smooth and soft but i feel like you could wear this for your workout and then throw <laughs> like a zip up over it or a cardigan or something and wear it kind of like a tank top so cute or even like with denim or honestly anything sweatpants you totally wear this as a sports bra and a top i love the material love how it fits very obsessed and i got three sweatshirts <laughs> the last thing i needed was another sweatshirt obviously but i couldn't resist because these are all so different and so cute and this material it's like a almost like a neoprene um but it's not like a straight up bathing suit material it's kind of in between like a bathing suit and like a cozy sweatshirt so it's like got that really smooth stretchy like athletic feel to it but it's not like overly smooth like a legging or something or like a bathing suit it still has like a cozy comfy component to it so i don't know it's insane this material like you'll see in the reel every time i opened one of these and i felt it i was like my jaw dropped i was like what is this this is so good so i got just a couple little pieces this one is just like a plain simple black just like oversized crew neck it's like literally so plain it just has like the logo or like the yeah, I guess the logo on the back. This material is insane. This feels, I mean, these are pricey and they feel pricey. Like they feel as high quality as the price tag is. And this one I didn't even realize. All of them have like little slits in the side, which just makes them so flattering. But this one, like right where the slit is, has a pocket, which I had no idea. It's like a super secret hidden pocket, but I love that. Um, they had this in at least one other color, but I got this in a size large. So it's like really oversized. It's like legging friendly. Are you trying to steal this tag? This material is insane. If you guys like got to feel this, you would like your brain just become scrambled eggs because you're like, what am I feeling? And then I got this hoodie, same exact material, but this is kind of like a, a really nice, like kind of washed out heathered, kind of like gray, but kind of like with an oatmeal color in it too. And just like the way these are stitched, there's just like some interesting stitching to them. These all come in at other colors, by the way, not just um, what I'm showing you guys. So some of these have like contrasting colors, but these don't have like arm or like thumb holes or anything. So they can function as just like a regular sweatshirt. But just the way these are cut and with the slit and the way that they like fit and lay and they're, it's literally my perfect fit. I'm so, so, so in love. Hey, are you having fun? Are you enjoying this? Um, and this one I just like that it was very simple, but this is going to be literally so perfect to wear with leggings after workout to run errands with sweatpants. It's like that perfect flattering crop fit where it's really not showing any like skin or anything, but it kind of hits you just where your high waisted leggings or pants would hit. So it's very flattering. It looks like very slouchy, but not overly big. Like you're not swimming in it. It just looks very like effortless. It's, it's when you see it on me, like you'll see what I mean. It is the perfect, like comfy, casual, cozy, loungy kind of fit this i like couldn't pass up because i love this color combo i feel like this is so like crisp and clean looking <laughs> what are you trying to get you want this i loved this white with like this kind of like taupey color so it's got kind of what the other one has with like some cool just like stitching moments and again you can kind of see with all of them they've all got like a drop shoulder the shoulder starts way down here and they're a little bit like dolman style again they all have like kind of the slits in the side which again just makes them lay really nicely it's just like it's hard to explain but i mean y'all know abercrombie and even hollister i worked for abercrombie and fitch for a long time as a store manager after college so i i like the brand in general but i feel like you can just tell and you know the quality is just like nice like the way these are stitched like they're double layered they're stretchy they're soft it's just you can like tell that they're nice like i said they are pricey but i feel like for a good reason and honestly even like us, the material and like the quality aside just the way they look i feel like makes them so worth it so love this stuff so much and then um aside from all those tops i did get just like one pair of just kind of like running athletic shorts these are really nice because they have the lining underneath of them and they have pockets and they are like elastic with the drawstrings these are pretty basic just like black every day like loungy slash workout slash running shorts but i love this stuff so much super excited to share them with y'all hopefully everything's like still available or on sale or linkable we're gonna go get big brother 
Should we go get our big brother? Should we go get him? I think he's ready to go play outside. Look at her eyes. Tell me you're not so jealous of her blue freaking eyes. So pretty. <laughs> I love when this happens and she doesn't care. <laughs> Look, I turn around and all of a sudden her bow's lower. And she doesn't get mad. Who turned the lights off, Emmy? Oopsie. Chloe, say hi. Looking Chloe's up. Having a snack. We're cuddling on the couch. <laughs> I totally forgot to give super exciting news on her. She popped two teeth. Both of them are on the bottom, like one on each side. And I noticed yesterday because her cheek was so red and like warm, like when you kiss it, you could just like feel how warm her cheek was. And she's not sick or anything. So I like washed my hands and stuck them in her mouth and I saw and felt two teeth, like they're already popped through. Which is crazy because usually like as they're coming through is the part that hurts and then once they're through, like they feel a lot better. But she never like got a fever. She was never like super fussy. Like we had no idea. And somehow she had two teeth come all the way through and never showed a single sign of it because she's like so chill. Yeah. You're so chill. You never even told us that you didn't feel good. They're like super tiny little nub sticking out. <laughs> Two teethers already, and she's not even five months yet. Doing big things. Big things. Little girl doing big things. Whoa. Whoa. Mwah. A big girl, Amy. Mwah. You always drooling on me, little girl. You see the mouth <laughs> on. Aww. He is so polite. He literally says please after everything. Like he wanted to hold one of these to freaking chew on. He says more rings, please. Call it. You're so polite. You're such a good boy. Do you want to sing your ABCs? Good job, Coley. Coley got some new toys that needed washing. But instead of us washing it, we set him up with his little sink and a brush and some soap. Chloe, remember your sink turns on. Oh, that's cool, dude. Ooh, Chloe. <laughs> so we just came out here to grab some packages. We got these little like dinosaur toys off of Amazon. And so we came out here, Chloe helped me like grab all the packages. We went inside, like I shut and locked the front door. We got the sink set up, all this stuff, came back outside and Willie was just sitting on the porch. Well, he's not an outdoor cat. He's never been outside. Like, obviously, we've, like, brought him outside, like, holding him. But he's never, like, walked around freely outside. So, somehow... Hi, hi baby. Somehow, he got out while we were getting the packages without either of us noticing that he slipped out behind us, even though we were both standing right at the door. And we went inside for, like, ten minutes with the door shut and locked. And then we came back, just kind of coincidentally. Like, we didn't even plan on coming back outside. I was just like, oh, well, these toys need to be washed. Why don't you wash them? We'll do that outside because it's so nice out. And Willie was just standing on the porch looking in. So if we had not planned on coming back outside, which we hadn't, but if we hadn't come back outside, I don't know how long he would have been standing on the porch or if he would have wandered off. But we were inside for a bit and he didn't wander off. He just like waited. So it's kind of terrifying. That's literally never happened. But I mean, he was just standing on the porch. So thank God for that because I don't know what we would have done if he like went missing. That's what I'm saying. He would have stuck around. You think? 100%. I have always wanted to get this. I showed this to Ken like years ago, I feel like, and he said it was like stupid and wouldn't be helpful. And then he has since changed his mind. And since Emily's gonna be starting solids in a couple months, and obviously we have Cole and we have each other, he finally approved the purchase of a life vac, which this is one of those like anti choking devices that comes with a kid attachment and then an adult attachment. And you can get different color cases. So, of course, I got the pink one. This is definitely not cheap. And obviously you kind of like hope you never need to use it, but I feel like it gives you a lot of peace of mind to have it. We're probably gonna keep it in the car. And then obviously the car is always at the house with us and the car is also always with us. But I feel like this just gives you like a lot of peace of mind. They sell it on their own website, but it's on Amazon too. I'll link it if you have kiddos and you're terrified of choking like I am. <laughs> Where are you going, cutie? You don't want me to come with you? Uh oh. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Good job. What do you have? I have chicken. You're an acorn? Oh, it is an acorn. Mm hmm. 
Oh, cool. Oh. <laughs> So you, you want to try to cut it again? Remember, put your fingers in. These two fingers, perfect. And then you put it in. And then you and then you cut it like this. And see how it makes a cool pattern. And then we're gonna glue it on the box. You gonna help me with that? Okay, ready? Now we gotta put a bunch of glue. You wanna help me squeeze it? Okay. Here we go. Don't touch it. And here, put the paper on it. Push it on. Push it on really hard. It's in the box. Gotta cover the box up and make it turn green so that it will look like a leprechaun trap. Are you gonna help us? Yeah. Is she gonna help us? Yeah. Okay. Oh, we gotta show an update to your leprechaun trap. What we did last night, we made a rainbow. Doesn't that look cool? Now we're gonna make a ladder for the leprechaun to climb up. <laughs> Probably mommy. Probably mm -hmm. Okay, so I think what we could do. Okay. What should we use? Should we use these and then do like this? Is that gonna be a good ladder? We can't do that because you're gonna hit me in the face. No, no. Put a little bit of glue right here. Okay, just don't touch it for a second. Right on. Nice. And then I'm gonna put a little more glue right here, look. Whoa. Whoa. This ladder is gonna be awesome. We gotta make sure it's gonna dry good. But does it look good? Looks good. Do you wanna put the clouds on the end of the rainbow? Okay, let me put some glue. Okay, put it on the glue, like this. Look! Oh. Where's the other? Oh, it's right there. Okay, ready? 22! Okay. okay, thank you. Good, good, good. Another one, another one. Oh, it's okay, it's okay. It's alright. I got it all. You're alright. It's hot. Oh, it's hot glue, you gotta be careful. You okay? All right, we might need to do a few more touches, but here's what our leprechaun trap is looking like. We made this out of a toilet paper roll. We made our little rainbow with the little clouds, and then here's our little ladder. Is your finger okay? I'm a hug you. Yeah, but do you feel better? No. You got a little tiny, tiny boo-boo, but you're okay. It's all better. You wanna go outside and sit? Oh yeah. Okay. Please. All right.